Hi everyone. Do you know this woman? Yes, she is Maudi Ayunda. Maudi is the daughter of Lady Jasmedi Al Irawan and Muran Murjoko. He has a sister named Amanda Khailanisa. Maudi has a hobby of reading since childhood. She learned to read at the age of three years. Maudi attends Mentari in Alcatraz School, where she initially had a language barrier when she was there. He admitted that she had to adapt to using English while at the time she was only used to Indonesian and Japanese. After his debut appearance in the film Parana, Modi took a break from the world of entertainment and focused on his dedication. During junior high and high school, she was active in various school activities and organizations. Modi has also served as the student's council president at this school. After graduating from high school, Maudi was accepted at Oxford University, England and majored in PPE, Politics, Philosophy and Economics. Maudi started his study in September 2013 and graduated in 2016. In 2019, Maudi plans to continue his master's degree. She was successfully accepted at two world-renowned universities, Harvard University and Stanford University. She decided to study at Stanford University and graduated in 2021 with a double degree major in Business MBA and Education MA. Kari Journey His debut in the entertainment world began with the film Parana, which she starred with Surya Saputra in 2005. In the film produced by Miles Films, Modi played Rena. Because of her role in the film, Modi was awarded the chosen main actress award by the 2006 Jakarta Film Festival at the age of just 11 years old. She was also nominated at the 2006 MTV Indonesia Movie Awards for the Most Favorite Rising Star category. In addition to starting her career as an actress in 2005, she also released her first book, A Forest of Fables. The book contains 17 short fairy tales about animals in the forest. She donated all the proceeds from the shell of the book to the victims of 2004 Aceh Tsunami. In 2009, Maudi got another role in the film produced by Miles Films, which is a sequel to the last Karplangi films titled The Dreamer. In the film, she plays a Malay girl named Zekiah Nurmala. In the film, Maudi not only plays Zekiah Nurmala, the idol of the main character, Arai, but also sings one of the soundtracks and title Mengejar Mimpi. Since then, his name has begun to be considered as a talented young artist in Indonesia. Modi was also selected as a finalist for the 2009 cover girl. In 2011, after playing an 11 years old boy and high school girl's idol in the film The Dreamer, Maudi Ayunda appeared in Aditya Gumai's film House Without Window as Andini, oldest older brother Emil Mahira. She also co-starred with Ifram Bahdim and Kim Jeffrey Kuniawan in the film Kick From the Sky. The following year, Maudi played in the film Angel Without Wings, starring with Adipati Dolkan. The film also reunites Maudi with Surya Saputra. Her role in the film earned Maudi a nomination at the Bandung Film Festival for the category of Prize Leading Female Actor. Not only working in acting, Maudi released his debut album entitled Call Me in 2011. In this album, which contains 10 songs, Maudi includes one of his songs entitled Stay Together. The album was assisted by several musicians such as Tohopati, Andi Rianto, and Pasha. One of the singles that became hits was a song called Sudden Love Comes. Her singing career did not stop there. In his last film, Pepperwood, Maudi is also lined up to fill the soundtrack for the film of the same title, namely Pepperwood by David Starry. The song managed to bring him as a newcomer in the music world. She was nominated in the Anugrah Music Indonesia. 2013 for the categories of Best Newcomer and Best Original Soundtrack Production Work. Modi was also nominated for the 2013 Anugrah Planet Music held in Singapore as Best Female Artist and Best Indonesian Song for the song Paper Booth. In 2013, Modi released a mini album with a music video in his YouTube channel. This album is called My Hidden Collection and contains four songs written in English by Modi herself. 
In January 2014, Modi performed a duet with singer best in America, David Chai, and released a song called By My Side. The song was later included in Maudie's latest album, which was released in 2014. This song was nominated for the 2015 Indonesian Music Awards for Best Pop Collaboration. Okay next, on April 1, 2015, Maudie released her second album, Entitled Moments. Different from the previous album, this album has more mature lyrics with songs that have a sad story. The album successfully sold more than 200,000 copies and achieved multi-platinum certification. This album was also nominated for Best Pop Album and Best Album at the 2015 Indonesian Music Awards. In that year, she returned to play in the film directed by Hanung Bramantyo entitled 2014, Who is Above the President? The action film, which is scheduled to be released in 2014, was directed by Hanung and Rahabi Mandra. In August 2015, she became the voice actor in the war animation film Battle of Surabaya by Arianto Yuniawan, produced by STMIK, Amicom, and MSV Pictures. At the end of the year, Maudi released the single Jakarta Ramai, whose lyrics she wrote herself. In that year, she was again nominated at Anugrah Planet Music 2015 for the category of Social Media Icon. She also won the 2015 Indonesian Chase Award as a Female Singer of the Year. The following year, Modi focused on studying in England, which had entered its final semester. Throughout 2016, she only released two singles, namely Once Again and How Far I'll Go, the Indonesian version, which was the soundtrack for the Disney film Wana. In 2017, Modi played a book writer named Trinity in Rizal Mantovani's film Trinity. The Neka Traveler. In the film, she again fight the voice line by singing again entitled One Star in the Dark Sky. The song was composed by Dewi Lestari and sung for the first time by the trio leader Sita Dewi on her first album in 1995. Modi also released the single Kejar Mimpi and Wait for Your News that year. In 2018, Maudi re-released his third album entitled Oxygen. This album, which is the third release after Call Me and Moments, involves Maudi in various ways, such as songwriting and lyrics writing. The compositions of the Oxygen album contains 11 songs, consisting of 9 songs that were just released for the first time, and 2 songs which are extra tracks. The album was nominated in the Anugrah Music Indonesia, 2018 as the best pop album. She also received nominations for best female pop solo artist for the single I'm Loving You and best collaborative production work for the single We Done Stillwater with Teddy Aditya. In April, Modi published her first book There Tomorrow, Notes to My View The Self, which discuss her opinions and experience about being yourself, dreams, love, and mindset. The book also managed to become a bestseller in various bookstores in October at the 2018 ASEAN Disability Games. Maudi was involved as the singer of the event's official song entitled Song of Victory with Ahmad Maulana, Ancha Michael, Fidi Aldiano, Regina Putri, Zara Leola, Lesti Andriani, and Putri Ariani. In 2019, Maudi published two children's storybooks entitled Kina Story. The story in the book was first written when she was 10 years old. Then she rewrote it to produce a new story. In the same year, Modi was tried to play the teenage Hasli Ainun Besari in the film Habibi and Ainun Tree, directed by Hanung Bramantyo. The film was released right on his 25th birthday. Apart from playing the teenage Ainun, Modi also filled the soundtrack for the film by singing the song You and Memorize by Meli Guslow. The song was successfully nominated in the 2019 Indonesian Music Award for the Best Original Soundtrack Production Work category and the 2009 Maya Cup for Selected Dance Song. Modi also received a nomination at the 2020 Bandung Film Festival for his role 
in the film. Maude released the single Goodbye, which was released on September 5, 2019. Maude said this single was his message to say goodbye before leaving for the United States to continue his education. Maude was announced to star in the film Lost Man by Broto, which was adapted from the television series Lost Man. The film, which is directed by Eva Isfansyah and Eddie Cahyono, is planned to be released in 2021. She will also fill in the soundtrack for the film by collaborating with Daniela Riyadi. Next, after returning from Stanford University, Maudi collaborated with Kopi Kapal Api and Redaksan to prepare the release of the mini-album, The Hidden Tapes, which she had prepared since studying in the United States. According to him, she is not in hurry to make a full album but wants to make an honest and intimate work. This mini album containing three songs as three different stories with one similarity about the female personality described, namely a woman who accepts rebooks and strengthens. This idea came from tough and considerations related to his career in the music world after she graduated from college on July 16, 2021. Maudie released the first song which became the third track of the mini album entitled Don't Know Why. Trav the song whose lyrics talk about the feeling of numbness in a relationship. She wants to remind women to determine their own life path and love story. The second track, Not For Us, was released on August 20. Featuring the sneak peek via her TikTok, whose days before it released. The single test about person who released that his relationship with his partner cannot last forever. He explained that this song is not about a woman who is helps when her heart is broken, but rather is able to express her feelings and portray a broken heart as a fact. She hopes that Not For Us can relate to the lives of many people, especially women. The final track, Heartless, was released on October 1. Trav this song, Maudi wants to voice how strong women are and have the right to be the main characters in her field life. The release of this third song also marks the release of the mini album, The Hidden Tapes. On November 5, Modi collaborated with D. Lestari again, releasing a single entitled Awal Mula from the soundtrack of Dewi's novel Rapi Jali. Achievement Maudi Ayunda reportedly made various achievements while still studying at one of the international schools in Indonesia, namely British International School Jakarta. The singer of the song Paper Boot had participated in and won several competitions from mathematics running to inter-school English speech. It didn't stop there. During high school, the figure of woman who became the dream of many teenagers even had time to accompany the positions of student council president. Active, isn't it? The name of the Ayunda has becoming increasingly popular as an inspiration after successfully becoming as a student at a leading foreign university. She had made a skin after being accepted at several universities such as Oxford University and Columbia University. Had a dilemma, the singer with a number of sons friendly chose Oxford University and at the same time carved his name as the first Indonesian student to study at the university's philosophy, politics, economy, or PPE department. During college, Maudie Ayunda was not reported to be a butterfly, aka college going home going. She was a member of the Oxford Economic Society and was the community's chief speaker. Maudie Ayunda studied for three years, although busy with non-academic matters, the singer of the song UN Memoirs was able to graduate with a cum laude degree. After graduating from Oxford University, Maudie Ayunda took the opportunity to study at Stanford University, the second best university in the world. 
unmitigated. Modi Ayunda even took two measures at the same time, namely business administration and education. He studied for two years. Therefore, the other day, the singer of the song UN Memories officially braced the title Ayunda Paza Maudia P A M A M B A Coincident. Maudia Ayunda not only excels in the world of education but also in the field of entertainment. She is known to exist in the world of acting and music. The figure of Maudia Ayunda often appears in various films. He played a young Ainun in the film Habibi and Ainun 3. She also starred in the film Perahu Kertas. In the world of acting, Maudi Ayunda has won a number of awards, one of which is the main actress chosen at the 20 and 6 Jakarta Film Festival. Meanwhile, in the world of singing, Maudi Ayunda contains several songs that are often heard by the public, including the songs you and memorize for what, Love Comes to Light, Casting Dream, and Pepper Boot. In the field of singing, Maudi Ayunda has won the Maya Cup Award in 2021 for one of her songs and was named Female Singer of the Year at 2015 Indonesian Chess Award. So this were Maudi Ayunda's achievement in education and career as a public figure. Thank you so much.